As you might have recently heard, LinkedIn recently had approximately 6.5 million account usernames and passwords stolen from their system. What I wanted to do was real quickly show you how to change your password if you weren't sure, as well as give you a couple of good ideas for keeping your passwords easy to remember but more difficult to crack. So here I am on my LinkedIn profile. I want to go ahead and change my account setting. So I'm going to come up to my name with a little drop down arrow in the upper right hand side. I'm going to choose settings. At this point it's going to ask me to sign in. I have to use my existing password at this time. And what I want to do is change my password. Now there's a lot of different links on this page so it might be difficult to find. However, it is underneath your name just a little bit down inside the upper left hand side of that major box. I'm going to click where it says change. It's going to ask that I type in my old password as well as a new password. Now you can see that they say a good password should contain a mix of capital and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. The password is case sensitive and must be at least six characters long. Now here's a couple of quick hints. If I have a password that is just a mix of letters and numbers, it's going to make it really hard for me to remember. So instead of thinking of it as a password, try using a passphrase. Maybe a small sentence that you can use, something like, I hate the Yankees. If you use a good sentence that includes punctuation, you'll wind up incorporating uppercase and lowercase letters, as well as punctuation, and depending upon the sentence, you might even have a few numbers in there, such as, I was born in 19, and then the year that you were born in. So you can in incorporate something that's very easy for you to remember, but would be difficult for a brute force attack to try to go in and hack. Likewise, if you have several of these unique phrases, even someone that knows you may have a slightly difficult time trying to figure out what the phrase would be because it could be anything from your life. The more difficult you want to make it means probably picking something that's a little bit older that people are less familiar with, like my first house was the color yellow. Once I type in my password, I'm going to click change password, and at this point, you can see that I've successfully changed my password. Hopefully, you'll find that using a passphrase is easy to remember and helpful for you to use when working with passwords online.